Welcome back to On Football. Today's first impression video is going to be on the Adidas Add a Zero Prime Knit Football Cleats in this box sent over from my partners at eastbay.com. As usual, if you guys want to purchase these cleats, I'm going to include a link in the description of this video anytime. You see what you like, you can go down, click the link, it'll take you over to eastbay.com where you can purchase a set of these cleats. So, now let's get into this video, give you guys the first impression of the Add a Zero Prime Knit 7.0 football cleats. Here's a closer look at the Add a Zero Prime Knit football cleat. Now this is the first Prime Knit football cleat that Adidas has released. Now if you remember last year, they also had the Ultra Boost cleat that I unboxed and reviewed. So here's a look at the Ultra Boost cleat. Now this also had Prime Knit in it in the upper because the Ultra Boost shoes use Prime Knit. This is the first Prime Knit cleat. Now there are going to be a lot of differences between these two. This is built more like the shoe. You can see even the eyelets, there's only four going up the side of it, where this is more of a football cleat that I think is gonna give you a little more lock-in. Uh, if you saw my review on this, you know the good things and bad things that you know I had to say about this cleat. Um, definitely use them, as you can tell, but I think this is more of like a seven on seven cleat, um, depending on you know how your actual foot fits within this. If you have thicker ankles, you're gonna get more locked down. Now this prime knit cleat, I think is gonna perform a lot better than the actual uh, boost cleat, than the actual ultra boost cleat. Now some of the things here, you've got this prime knit construction. They actually have this speed spat tape that they call it, these tape lines that are going to give you some lock-in, but also going to give you some of that flexibility at the foot and some of that support at the forefoot that you need in football. The Prime Knit is supposed to be adaptable, so adaptable to your foot. Um, I have yet to try them on, but Prime Knit, you know, is one of my favorite materials. They use it in the new gloves now. They use it in their pants and jerseys. It uses that super tight, compressive, adaptable foot. The heel counter in the back feels a little soft. You've got the plate at the bottom, and then you've got this softer heel counter. Um, the padding is super thick, though. So I wanna test that out and see, you really can't tell in the video, but test that out and see how much support you actually get. Uh, I'm gonna compare it to the Adizero 7.0s that have a little bit of a sturdier heel counter, if I remember. And then you've got the same plate at the bottom as the 7.0s. This colorway is black. East Bay has three different colorways. Definitely, again, check it out in the link. They've got a white, they've got a black, and they've got a gray. The black has the chrome plate at the bottom. And of course, it comes with this warning that you know that plate may chip or wear off if you use these to play in, especially somewhere like outdoors. These have a very similar, if not the same, lacing system as the Adizero 7.0s, the other cleats I reviewed. So I'm gonna be testing it out and seeing if it makes any difference. It's gonna be a lot more breathable, obviously because it's a knit material. And then the cuff, uh, it doesn't have that internal booty, that tech fit booty, but it does have the cuff on it as well. So we're gonna have to see how that plays a part in these cleats and how comfortable they are uh, for the Add a Zero line. So that's my video. If you guys liked it, definitely give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, check out my other unboxings and reviews, and uh, I will see you guys next time.